Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Citizens of the Stars, Star Citizens Community Show. This is the show where we celebrate the brightest point of light in the Star Citizen constellation, you the backers. Now a lot of people have come to me and they've said, Ben, why do a Star Citizen Community Show? Why celebrate the Star Citizen Community? And I'll tell you exactly what I tell them. I'm working, get out of my office. But the real answer is that of course, Star Citizen wouldn't be possible without this incredible community. You've not only created the game itself with your support, but you've inspired us with your, your artwork and your writing and the way you've come together and all the incredible things you do every single day. So uh, we wouldn't be here without you, and we wanted a platform to celebrate that. With that, let's check out the next installment of Citizen Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another edition of Citizen Spotlight, where we take a closer look at some of the exceptional contributions made by our citizens to the Star Citizen community. I'm your host, Community Manager Jared Huckabee, and this week we're chatting with Star Citizen YouTuber, Mr. STL Youngblood. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. So, do I call you STL, Mr. Youngblood? STL's fine. Yeah, let's keep it short. <laughs> Roger that. Now, you've been making Star Citizen videos for quite some time. When did you get started? Well, I pledged for the game back in uh, 2014, back in February of 2014, and have been making videos ever since then. Awesome. And there's a wide array of videos you've created. Why don't you tell us what the <laughs> folks at home can find on your YouTube channel? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do have a wide variety of videos that I like to put out there. Um, if you were to find my channel and try and pick something that would be what I'm best known for, I'd probably say it's my uh, Picking the Right Ship series. You know, sometimes that's going to be uh, going through a variety of different uh, you know, ship categories. So for example, I may do picking the right cargo ship or picking the right escort ship. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll really just break it down and talk about the different, uh, the different stats on the ship, the different weapons, the cargo capacity, the shields, um, the speed, and basically really break down ships in as much detail as I possibly can. Um, try and do a lot of lore videos. Um, you know, CIG, you guys have done a really good job of creating this expansive environment that we're going to be playing in, and everything has this really rich background. So, the, like my lore stuff and my star map videos, I try and go in and share the lore that your, uh, you know, your lore writers have actually come up with, so people have an understanding of what the verse that we're living in is actually all about. Because it's going to be important for people to have that kind of understanding of the background. Uh, I go through and I do a series called uh, The Inbox, where I answer questions uh, that the community has. Uh, I know you guys are busy, so I try and answer on your behalf, whether that's actually something you guys consider a good thing or not. Whoa. The views <laughs> and opinions of STL Youngblood do not represent those of Cloud Imperium Games, Robert Space Industries, or its subsidiaries. Yep, I'm totally at fault for the information provided. <laughs> well, we appreciate all the work that you put in for the yeah. Star Citizen community. Now, do you have anything new coming up that folks can look forward to? Yeah, there is one that's coming up. Uh, it's probably going to debut sometime this month for the first time. Uh, it's going to be what's known as the Patron Roundtable. Um, on my channel, I've got a really supportive group of patrons that um, you know spend their hard-earned money uh, to help develop the channel. Where we use, uh, it's a funny group, uh, lots of good opinions, and I think people are going to enjoy it. Well, that sounds great. Well, thank you for taking the time to be with us here on Citizen Spotlight. And folks at home, you can find all of STL Youngblood's videos at the link in the description below this video. With that, let's check out what's coming up next in This Week in Star Citizen. Hey everybody, welcome to Quantum Questions, the quick quiz where we carry your questions to a Cloud Imperium developer. We've got Jeremiah Lee, concept artist from Star Citizen. He's going to answer as many of your questions as he can in just two minutes. Let's do it. Jeremiah, are you ready to face some Quantum Questions? No, I'm not. <laughs> well good, because that was technically not a Quantum Question. Okay. But we're about to start. Let's put two minutes on the clock. And go. What is your name and what do you do? Uh, wow, uh, Jeremiah Lee, character, wait, what was the question? What do you do? Oh, I'm a character concept artist at CIG. How, How long have you worked on Star Citizen? Uh, close to about two years now. What armors are you working on right now? Right now, the heavy slaver armor. What's the funniest thing you've seen at work recently? I'm, uh... I've seen some weird shit. Uh, 
Pass, pass. Not safe for work, pass. <laughs> Can you gift a pledge to a friend? Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, is, totally not scripted. Is Disco as annoying as we've heard when oh, he wants no. something for one of the shows? No, 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 he's absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. How excited are you about the thing you're working on that you can't tell us about? Super excited. Uh, I'm actually, it, it, because I'm in the beginning of the pipeline, I'm, I get always so excited and then I can never talk about it. It's the worst feeling, but also the best feeling ever. And how do you pronounce Jean or Zayan? I say Xi'an. What Something. work are you doing on the female character? Um, the female character is actually in production for uh, armor variants right now. What are you working on for 3.0? I am currently working on uh, Levski, Le oh my goodness, Levski PU uh, costumes for the NPC. How excited are you for the Titan armor? Ooh, that thing I am excited and also scared for at the same time. Same feeling I had for the, uh, the sandworm, actually, same feeling. <laughs> What is your favorite color? Is this black? I think this is black. This color. This, this, this thing. Ah, that's that it. That thing, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Did well, I win? You did a great job. Thank you very much for appearing on Quantum Questions. That was two minutes? That was yeah. What? Man, lies. That's lies. Well, that makes 11 questions for Jeremiah, which means he's the Quantum Champion. Tune in next week to see if he can hold on to his throne. And if you have your own quantum questions you'd like to ask to a Star Citizen developer, you can post them to the subscriber area of the forum. We'll see you next time on Quantum Questions. I'm back! It's me, guys, and I'm here with this week's Top 5 in MVP. Why me? Because Tyler Wickens out sick, man. Get better soon, Tyler. We miss you. All right, let's get started. Number five. The Miss Grazer teaser created by Athogen. Now, he used a 3D model from our Hollow Viewer and his own experience with texturing and video making. Athogen created a short 30 second fan made teaser for the Miss Grazer that's left quite a few people in the Star Citizen community waiting for more. I can't wait to see what you come up with next, man. Number four, the Diverse Diverse webcast celebrated their sixth episode with special guest, community manager Tyler Wicken. The discussion covered an array of topics, and I thought the entire team involved with the show put out a pretty entertaining and informative 90 minutes. So, good job, everybody. Number three, the Star Citizen custom control box by Rovex. Now, have you ever had the thought, I could really use a few extra buttons to play this? Well, obviously Rovex did, and this was the result. Now, I am consistently impressed with the ingenuity and creativity of our backers, and projects like this only help to showcase that as well as any. So, Rovex, I'm, I'm waiting to see a video of this thing in action. Hit me up, dude. Number two, Whataburger. Yes, <laughs> last weekend we went to San Antonio, Texas, and I got me a triple meat, what, what, what? What? No, I can't do Okay, I'm sorry. A bar Citizen San Antonio! <laughs> All right, last Saturday after PAX South, we got to hang out with backers at the Beer Garden in San Antonio. Uh, Tyler, Proxis, Underscore, and I were, th were there to, to share in the festivities, and we had quite the time. So thank you to everyone who attends these things in cities around the world. They're quite honestly one of my favorite things about Star Citizen. And number one in this week's MVP is Gormand, who created an interactive Vanduul keyboard that lets people convert whatever text they want into Vanduul. Now, I tried it with my name, and it looks a little something like this. So congratulations, Gormand. You're this week's MVP. That's it for Citizens of the Stars. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn about Star Citizen's incredible community. And I have to say a special thank you to STL Youngblood and, of course, Jeremiah Lee for uh, taking the hot seat in Quantum Questions. With that, I'm Ben Lesnick. Get out of my office. I mean, see you in the verse. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.